When you think about how women win, what are your words of wisdom to our team of listeners? I would say build relational currency, as we talked about. I think um, developing your presence is really important. And that just means that you understand how you, how you interact with people and how they feel when you are around them. That is, it's a real thing in the universe and you have to be able to get things done. So that's part of it. What kind of, you know, language are you using? How are you perceived? Um, we always say, this is one of those things um, that you don't want to hear, but how you are perceived in your environment actually determines how you will elevate in that environment. Not right or wrong, probably wrong, but it is what it is. So this whole understanding your presence and presence can be improved as well. Um, I, I've talked a lot about growth mindset, being open to growing and learning and learning what you need to do to be the best volleyball coach or CEO or whatever, learning the trends of how you want to win. That's part of being strategic as well. So those are, you know, I think four or five things there that I think are just super important. Um, and then I think I said early on, you know, optimism, I think believing in a hopeful future, a bigger future, we have to know that we can get there. There's too many battles to fight along the way, too many learnings. Listen, and that's not a gender thing in leadership. It's just a lot. And so figuring out how to manage your energy and focusing on it, don't waste it over here, like complaining about stuff you, over here. Like everything's possible. It's not easy. And, you know, Kathy and I are working to make sure it's possible in our lifetimes. Um, but there's certain, you know, there are wins. We all have wins and we have to really celebrate those. It helps our energy and hopefulness to not give up and to keep going.